Hi everybody, welcome back for some more Darkest Dungeon. Uh, last time we took our Jester out, now named Wiggles, and got him some leveling up. Got him to uh, the first resolve level with a fairly, fairly innocuous run through the cove. wasn't whole, wasn't a whole lot of trouble there. And uh, we got ourselves a little bit of resources so we could do some critical upgrades on the team. Uh, the purpose being uh, that I want to go do the Necromancer. So that's going to be our next mission here is to go take on the Necromancer. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and go with Morgan again. So let's move Morgan into the group. Let's get uh, everybody else out for now. All right. So I want to bring Doctor Strange. Because I just got that really awesome vial. So we're going to give that to Doctor Strange. And then we're going to give Doctor Strange the Aria box to counter the uh, stupid stress damage. Although... I could give Doctor Strange the Witch's Vial, which gives me an effective plus 70% stun chance, which means I can stun lock things. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Uh, as for my other members of the group, why don't we bring Dismas? Um, you know what? Actually, no. I might want to hold off on Dismas. Uh, we might want to bring Bertrand, actually. But then that means we don't really have anyone for that second slot. So we might have to bring... Uh, we might have to bring Dismas. Or Matafleur. We could bring Matafleur. Matafleur, Beryl. Although Beryl can't really attack the back row, which is sort of problematic. A Crusader would be fantastic for this, to be fair. Because Crusaders do extra damage to Unholy. So you know what we can do? We can give him that, and then give him that. I don't necessarily like the dodge resistance reduction, but it does greatly increase our chance to, to basically, you know, go nuts on those stuns. Uh, what's Pistress's disease again? Ennui? That's not fantastic, but it's not really going to ruin our day either, so why don't we bring Pistress? We'll give her the Chalice... She's actually got pretty good skills. Except for that. That's not great. So we're going to give you the Aria box. Because if you do get stressed out, you are almost certainly going to get an affliction. Which I feel is pretty much the truth already. But, you know, who knows. Alright, uh, we can give you this. And we can give you like this. I don't know, I feel like that might be a bit of a waste on you. Hmm, you know what? Maybe I should bring Sir Judicale. I could probably get him upgraded. But at the same time... I don't know if I trust the Yips not to burn me at the worst possible time. He would be a better tank, because he gets all these cool uh, Crusader-only items. Whereas you just kind of get this, and I can give you this. You know what? Let's go over here. Let's give you... Let's see. 4 dodge, 8 dodge. This is minus 5% stress heals and plus 10% trap. Uh, I think I like this combination. This will mean you'll do uh, way more damage to unholy creatures and you get more dodge. Uh, Plague Doctor is going to be out of control in here. And then you get all of that stuff. So we look like we're in pretty good shape here. Hmm. Accuracy buff. Would that maybe be worth more than that? You do lose a little hit point. Hit pointage. Hmm. I love the idea of stun locking people, though. Hmm. And that already gives you an accuracy buff on all your range skills, which is what all your skills are anyway. Uh, now the other question is, do we want to switch skills right now? We can always switch them while we're in the dungeon, but it is something to consider. Hmm, Pistress's skills aren't upgraded. I might have to change that. 
Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to go do that real quick. So let's go over here. Uh, give Pistris the upgraded heal, stun. Uh, I'm not really worried about divine comfort. So we'll just do those two for now. We have our first, uh, we have medium missions showing up now. Not that we can really do any of them with our group, as it is. Okay, so you're good. You're good. You're probably good. And I would say you're good as well. So... I think this is going to be a good group for this. Um, we really only have one skill that can target... Two skills that can target the back row, but I think we can live with that. Hmm. Open Vein's not great. Wish I could get Wicked Slice. You know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I'll just do that. So, one more thing. We'll go ahead and buy Wicked Slice. That way we have a little bit more extra damage to dole out here instead of having to worry about the bleed resistance. There. There we go. Guess we didn't really need to upgrade it, but whatever. Alright, Morgan, Dismas, Doctor Strange, and Pistris. Okay, so we buy 20 food, we buy 9 torches, we buy 3 holy water and 3 keys, we buy 3 shovels. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know what, we don't really need anti-venom. Um, bandages. Let's buy two, just to be safe. And... I can only think of, like, one curio that uses herbs, so let's get two herbs. Alright, we got 6,000 left. That's not terrible. We can deal with that. And we got five inventory slots, so I think we're good. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? I don't know, man, but that sounds really deep for some reason. A devil walks these halls. Oh, sweet. Only the mad or the desperate go not, inside. Not the devil. <laughs> the devil is not sweet. What's sweet is that secret door. So we're going to make a beeline for that. Uh, we don't really need this, so we're going to walk by it. Uh, all it really does is de-stress you. And we don't have any stress problems right now, so... In Radiance, going. may we find victory. Okay, we got a room battle. Some key early stress dealers. But we are master of the stun, so we're going to stun lock people right now. Uh, why don't you see if you can stun him? All, all right. right. The Almost the entire team is stunned. Um, I feel like I want to have you take a shot at this Confidence man. Confidence surges awesome. as the enemy crumbles. Uh, I wonder if you could get away with a stun on him. That would be amazing. Yeah. All right. The stun lock begins. Ha ha. All right, uh, why don't you shoot him? Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Uh, but what we can do is get rid of the corpse and attempt to stun you again. Let's see, 110 base, 140, 180. That's like a, that's like a 100% chance still, I think. Yeah, didn't shuffle him, which was what I was hoping for, but can't win them all. Okay, As the kill him. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Um, oh crap, you still have Hand of Light. I'm going to have to change that as soon as this fight's over. Uh, they're all going to pre be pretty resistant to your stun, so I don't even know what to have you do because you have friggin' Hand of Light equipped. What the hell? Attack him. Wow! That shouldn't have happened, <laughs> but it did. I ain't complaining. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Right. Um, what the hell? Maybe you can get two. Yeah, I was, I was, I would be amazed if that worked. Like, 
I, my jaw would have dropped. All right. Continually wow. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Well, that group of enemies was summarily dismissed. Okay. First things first. Get rid of Hand of Light. Okay. Is everyone else good? I think so. Yeah. Everybody else is fine. We'll go ahead and open this sarcophagus. We get a move charm, which is new. We've never seen that before, apparently. Okay, we'll go over here, go inside. Pop open this little secret compartment. Uh, three puzzling trapahedrons. Mm. Well, we'll drop that. Uh, we'll drop this, and we'll drop this. So we... We're going to come out of this pretty good money-wise. Um, I don't know. You know, uh, the group's doing pretty well, and I don't actually know where we're going to find our boss. It's going to be one of these three spots. Probably one of these two, actually. Why don't we keep going this way? Because that first battle went pretty well on wood. And uh, I think we are in a good enough position to take a chance on this next room here. Problem is, we don't really have a whole lot of room for money. So, we're probably going to have to toss this and pick up the gold. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only okay. the strength to follow we're it. We're be able to cure out a, uh, clear out a holy water now. Oh, so close. So close. Well, I think a grape shot will finish him. Uh, you stun the back, too. Go ahead and grape shot. Press this advantage. Excellent. Give them no quarter. Um, Bellow's not going to finish him, so we're going to have to do this. All right. 120 stun resist and 80 stun resist. Okay, we cannot stun them. That's not great. But I think we can... Ooh, that's bad. That's a lot of stress. Not a huge fan of that. Okay, go ahead and stun them again. Uh, shoot the guy in the back. Ooh, so close. However, that should have him down at the point where we can finish him with a Bella. Unless we don't hit him. Wow. Okay. Clean it up, Dismas. Nice job. Okay. Remind yourself we will that overconfidence is actually a slow and insidious killer. This can potentially clear off quirks, I believe. So who's got really bad quirks? That's awful. Um, yeah, he's got some pretty bad ones. So Doctor Strange is candidate number one. You have some not great ones. But I think I still go with Doctor Strange over you. You have bad ones. Everybody has anti-torch stuff, which I really don't like. Yours are all pretty manageable. So we're going to go with Doctor Strange here. Deviant Taste, which is the one I least cared about. Well, that's what you get, I guess. Sometimes RNG just isn't going to fall in your favor. And you just got to deal with it. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to this door, not the secret door. Um, why didn't I disturb that curio- Oh, I remember. You know what? Let's go back there. Hang on. Because now- Shit. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, this might- Fuck, really? Oh my god. All right, just back up. Yes, yes, yes. Complain about backing up. <sighs> Great. I hope we find another one of those that somebody doesn't randomly touch. Uh, I think herbs do something here. Yeah. All right. We'll pop the torch. Let's fight. Okay, this is not a terrible fight. We can manage this. Get some good damage on him in the back, because we gotta kill him first. Oh, that's terrible targeting. Oh, Lord. 
That's awful. Okay. Doctor Strange is not having a good day right now. Uh, how much does your blight do? Four. Okay. That enemy is done. Uh, wicked Slice. Here comes a Rend. Mm, not bad. Nothing we can't absorb. Alright. Took him out. Uh, he's dead, so we don't gotta worry about it. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. Why don't you... St nope, can't stun him. All right. Then blight him. That's gonna kill him. A and I figured he was probably inches. going next. Uh, let's get rid of the bandages. Hmm. All right, I guess we're opening it. What's inside? Busts. Fortunately, I can hold those because I was just gonna say purchase, maybe I should not open this and wait until made clear. my inventory is a little clearer. I don't even know if you heard me because I just kept talking while he was talking. So, oh god. Okay, RNG down. is starting to fuck me right here. Okay. We might have to camp a little early. Surprised. Okay. Priority fucking one is the stupid courtier. That's bad. Can you kill him? Excellent. Okay. Now let's stun everybody else. All right. Let's stun this guy. Get him up front. That's pretty much best case scenario for us. And why don't we stun the well Bone struck. Soldier with a nice crit attack, which basically means he's dead if we do any damage to him. Axe Blade on Dismas. Dodged. Uh, Play Grenade might do it. Ah, uh, really? Shit. Okay. Grape Shot. Kind of overkill there, but I wanted to make sure he didn't get a turn. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get some heals out. Crit is going to reduce stress. That's amazing. Um, You know what? Stun him. I don't want him doing anything else. Ah, but it knocks him back. That's bad. Okay. Axe Blade dodge again. Wow. Really lighten it up here, man. All right. Blight him. Okay, we might be able to just... Actually, he's dead. We don't have to worry about him anymore. So, start pounding on the defender. Wow. This guy's accuracy leaves something to be desired, apparently. That's a heal for one. That's pretty bad. Let's kill this man. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I'm thinking we toss the medicinal herbs. Okay, this armor here. Oh, it'd be awesome if the boss was down there, but I knew that wasn't going to happen. Okay, um. It's tempting to camp here because this armor gives you a buff that lasts until you camp. So if I use it now, I'm not going to have it for the boss. And it's a pretty good protection buff. But... At the same time, any buffs that I get from camping are only going to last for four combats. Pretty likely I'm not going to make it to the boss in four combats. There's probably going to be more than four combats between me and the boss. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to use it now. Uh, I think it has a small chance to give you... No, that's something else. So we're going to give you a Nightly Aura to increase your dodge and protection so that you have a better chance of avoiding all this crap that's messing with you and de-stressing you so much. We're apparently opening this as well. Okay, nothing in it. All right, trap disarmed. Let's do a fire. Gonna have a fight. Spiders. Okay. So, spiders. 
we just kind of start cleaving our way through them as quickly as we can. Uh, probably have light resist, so Pl Doctor Strange is actually going to be somewhat... Oh, that's terrible. That's a really bad stun target right there. Um, you have not acted yet, so we're going to stun you. I actually don't have a whole lot of blight resist. I could blight them pretty easily. And they would die pretty quick from blight, so that might be worth doing. Now let's do a bellow. Lower their dodge and their speed. Gives us the opportunity to go faster and do some of that. And then... Hmm. These are probably the worst, so let's go ahead and kill that one. Uh, we might actually be able to kill them all. Oh, wow. Nice hit. And we finished them. I wish somebody besides you would get Foolish some stress horrors. relief. Brought low and driven into the mud. Oh, that's really bad. All right. Um, This is a thousand by itself, so let's replace that. And then I guess we're going to have to leave 1,500 gold behind. Because I can't... I can't throw away anything. Like, I can't throw away any of this other stuff. Uh, it's too likely I will get something I need it for. The only thing I could really do is throw away the gold, but... It's probably going to be more valuable than those. Okay. Um, we can use a key here, because I don't want to camp yet. Please don't give me something I can't carry. Alright, I did get an emerald I can't carry, but we're just going to have to live with that. And we're going to go on. Oh, the hunger checks are the really starting struck. to screw me over. A blazing star is Really? Born. All right, go ahead. Sentimental gifts are hidden inside. We'll take the emeralds. We'd have a full stack of emeralds right now if we had any freaking supplies. Even the cold stone seems okay. bent on preventing passage. What's in here? Nothing. All right, do we get enough to find out what's in the side rooms? The boss is down here. Okay. There are two battles between us and the boss. So let's go take care of the boss before we do anything else. Okay, we got more skeletons. Uh, you're going first. Stun the stress dealers. And then everybody start damaging them. Wonderful. Okay. Um, oh my god! There! We got some kind of damage on him, at least. Okay, that's a good miss. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh god. If they do it to him again. Okay. Alright. Alright. Those guys have to die, and they have to die now. Like, no more excuses. Start hitting. Or we're fucked, okay? Blight them both, and we're good. Yeah. All right. Now we just have to hope that nobody hits Doctor Strange. All right. We're going to heal. Um, you know what? We're going to camp in that room anyway. So as long as we get out of this without any, any more stress, I think we're good. Uh, all right, you, I don't believe, can attack anything in the back rows, so why don't we stun you? Blow. Yep, you're attacking Dismas. The slow death okay, they're gonna die. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Um, why don't you blight this man? Go ahead and give me a slash. That'll kill him easily. Do a heal. Well, the Blight finished the job, so we're good. Seize this uh, mountain. Push on to the task's end. There's a chest up there. I probably get more out of the key than I do out of taking four crests, so we're going to leave that stuff. Okay, we're not going to use any more torches before we camp. Um, would be really great if this had... not that. Uh, 
Let's keep the emeralds. Let's keep them. Okay, we'll go in here. And we got a camp. Huddled together. Okay, we got to take their stress reduction vulnerable. option because Doctor Strange Rats is way too stressed maze. out. Um, okay. Now we need to focus all the efforts we can on reducing Doctor Strange's stress. Uh, that seems like a good way to do it. All right. Um, let's see. That would be fantastic, but then I would not be able to use clean guns or bandit sense. I'm probably okay with skipping uh, clean guns. Although then again, that's going to be immensely useful on the boss. I would really like to avoid the ambush, though, at the same time. Okay, uh, this is what I'm thinking. Why don't we... Do clean guns and instruction on Doctor Strange. Gives Doctor Strange some extra dodge and makes Doctor Strange faster so we can get stuns off quicker. And then I think uh, we're going to have to hope that we don't get ambushed. Okay, a bunch of different stuff. We did not get ambushed. Okay. Um. That takes a key. More likely to have bad stuff happening from not opening this with a key than you are from an heirloom chest. So we're going to open this with a key. And we got some heirlooms. And we can't carry our money now. Okay. Inventory is starting to become a problem. Uh, there's a fight coming up in the next square. We should have enough torch lights. Okay. Priority. So stun her. Okay. You know what? I'm tempted to just try and stun these guys, too. Because now that she's up front, we can do considerably more damage to her. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, we might have fucked ourselves. By trying for that stun. Okay. Please just hit her. Yes! Holy crap, your accuracy is buffed. Um, I need a stun. Wow, Pistris, wow. Okay, this corpse is saving our lives right now. So, like, good job. Good job to the corpse. Because it's forcing them to use Stumbling Scratch, and it's really screwing them over. Um, why don't we guard Dismas? That kind of reduces their damage even more. Yeah. So yeah, this this is really helping us out right now. Of course, that corpse is going to disappear next turn, so we need to uh, do a little damage. Okay. Um, two damage will render him basically useless. And they have now moved in front of the corpse anyway, so the corpse is entirely pointless. A decisive That's sort bubbling. of a useless crit, but I'm not going to complain. Okay. Judgment. Get his health down. Finish him. All right, we are uh, victories mount. Kind of so too overwhelmed by shovels here. Do we even need it? No, we don't need shovels anymore. Let's throw away the shovels. They're uh, they're just taking up space now because we don't have any more obstacles. All right. Um, what do we got here? Some coinage. We will still have radiant light when we go in here. So let's hold on to the torch. And let's do this fight. Towering, fierce, All right. terrible. Nightmare so the first thing we're going to do, if we can, is get this guy stunned. But we don't really have a great opportunity to stun him at the moment. I'm going to wait for an opportunity for Doctor Strange to stun him. Which I don't know how prevalent that's necessarily going to be. We got some good damage on him to start. Uh, that's bad. Because that's stress. Um, okay. 
you have a you have a stun up, but I'm not necessarily worried about that. I'm worried about Doctor Strange, so let's guard Doctor Strange. Uh, he's gonna spawn some more dead on us. Okay, we got all kinds of uh, nastiness going on right now. Um, let's go ahead and get a stun on him if we can. We did. Hmm. Do we try for a stun on one of these guys? Can you kill one of them? No. Then try for a stun on this one. Shit. Okay, um... I feel like we need to start doing as much damage as we can to this guy and uh, kind of rely on Morgan to clear out the skeletons. Okay. So we got one skeleton down. And we're doing pretty good damage on the Apprentice right now. Let's go ahead and blight him some more. Okay, what's his stun resistance? 40, 115 against like 180? That's like a 65% chance. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Uh, let's try for a stun on this guy. There we go. That's, that's in our favor right there. Um... I want you to guard Doctor Strange again. Get that prot higher. Uh, go ahead and blight him again. This is going pretty well so far. We're doing eight damage a round. Okay, he keeps using the clawing dead, which doesn't seem to do a whole lot. And he just spawned, spawned a bone rabble, which is the weaker version of his summonables. Um, do we need to heal? I don't think so. I think we're probably pretty much good. I think right now we should... Ah! That's a terrible miss. Alright. Whoa! That did a, f a lot of damage. Okay. You're, you need to die. Alright. Um, blight him. Okay. He is gonna die any minute now, so... Let's see if we can... Okay, he's dead. We have killed him. Even reanimated bones can fall. Even the dead can die again. And somewhat uh, shockingly, we will actually have an opportunity here. Never mind. I was going to say... A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. We were going to have an opportunity to uh, actually heal up during a boss fight. Uh without actually having, like, uh, basically to stall during a boss fight because he just had the ads left. But, uh, that did not end up playing, that did not end up, pl end up playing out how I, uh, might have expected, so. Uh, neither of those is worth anything. Uh, we're gonna continue adventuring, and we want to go to that chest and maybe open up that curio. Assuming the hunger check does not screw us. Uh, knock on wood. Again. Alright. We'll go up here. Okay. Light is slowly going down. There it is! Alright. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it. I'm gonna try and make it. We're not in terrible shape. We can probably absorb one hunger check failure. Uh, we do not have the necessary items, but Pistris doesn't care. Go ahead. You got a face full of foul-smelling ear. A uh, foul-smelling ear. Foul-smelling air. Honestly, I feel like you deserve worse, but I'm not going to punish you if the game's not going to. All right. Stunned. Go ahead and kill one of these. Excellent. Okay, that's some awesome stress relief on Doctor Strange. Um... Can you kill him? No. Okay, go for the wicked slice. And then you go to town on this man's face. All he can really do is bayonet jabs now anyway, so... He's kind of had his wings clipped. And he's dead. Easy fight! Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates okay. a dizzying We're gonna ball. do this room. We can probably walk out there and get that curio, and then we gotta stop. I don't want hunger checks. We've been fortunate enough to avoid the hunger checks to this point. I don't want to try my luck any further. 
Um, I really want him gone. Okay, he's dead. Now that means I can use this to potentially shuffle you up front. Yep. Means he's going to have to use Stumbling Scratch. We'll go ahead and get rid of the uh, Bone Rabble. Stumbling Scratch on Dismas. I have not been paying attention to Dismas's health. He really needs to be healed. Um, okay. Uh, Blight her. Hmm. Yep. Got it. Bad. Good. Okay, heal Dismas. And let's see if we can get one more of those out before we have to kill these guys. Give me a stun. Yeah. Alright. Um. Yeah, why don't you blight him? That would work great. You kill a corpse. We got one more corpse to kill if we need it. Okay, he's got five hit points left. Oof. So close. Okay, well then. Um. I think we just finish it. We got some deeds. We got These another sapphire. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And we got an unlocked strong box with a little bit of treasure inside. Okay, all we're gonna do here is just walk out, and there's a bookcase. So we're going home. Woo! Look at all that stuff. This was way better than the Hag Run, I must say. Let's see what we got. Got a martyr seal. That's kind of. I never use it, so doesn't really do much for me. We got almost seventeen thousand gold. In fact, we we got two thousand gold, twenty thousand gold if you add that in. Uh, we got a bunch of crests, a bunch of busts, and a couple deeds. Dismas is now third level, as is Morgan. Morgan got Precise Striker, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Faithless, that's not really a big deal. Hysterical Blindness, kind of a kind of a big deal, but not really. Hysterical Blindness is not one of those diseases you need to immediately treat. Seen, pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. <sighs> I could not look, nor could I look away. All right, so that means Dismas and Morgan can no longer go on normal, uh, on uh, easy level missions. So we're gonna have to start relying on Sir Judicale to tank from now on. And maybe another, yeah, all right. Uh, we got a man at arms and we actually got a leper. And we don't have a leper. So I'm gonna recruit the leper actually. Let's go this ahead and pull him This man understands that adversity and existence all one and the same. So we'll get ourselves a leper. I like his name more, Noible, rather than Fakal. Um, I say we fuck home. All right. Ah, if only I could have gotten two more deeds. Damn. Anyway, uh, let's do some of our base maintenance here, and then uh, we will call the video at an end. Thirty-seven fifty. I don't need gold that badly. I might find a use for that at some point. So we're going to hold on to that. Um, there are some bosses in particular that you basically have to take health damage for, so I can see that being really useful on those bosses. Okay, so if Sir Judicale's got to be our tank, then I want him configured a certain way. Uh, I don't really care for Battle Heal or Bulwark of Faith, so we're going to pick up Inspiring Cry. And we are going to upgrade all of that. We are also going to upgrade Judicale's weapon and armor. And... Let's take a look at our skills here. I feel like second level is probably sufficient for the easy missions. We will want to go beyond that, of course, once we start doing the medium level missions, but 
I'm not super worried about it right now. Um, and it's only 200 gold for every level 2 upgrade, as opposed to 600 for the level 3. So that's another reason to save some money. Go ahead and give you that one. You're good. You're good. You're good. I just did you, so you should be fine. Um... Hmm. Let's do Breakthrough. Vitalis probably needs to go on another mission before I can justify uh, spending any money on her. Okay, so we have plenty of busts. And... Not really enough deeds because we're saving the deeds for a specific purpose. So, can we maybe upgrade the Sanitarium? Although I prefer to wait... On the sanitarium just because it's uh it's not really a priority most times but i am naming a lot of characters and i would like to be able to pull negative quirks off of them if i can so i think it's worth con worth considering to upgrade the sanitarium um i can't really these are not busts i don't think i i know the blacksmith's not and that's not either so if we've got busts, we might as well use them. So the let's go here. The front of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather increases chance of curing inside diseases. the mind. I think that's probably good. I think that's probably sufficient for now. And then we won't worry about patient cells. We'll just worry about the treatment library and the medical devices in terms of our busts. And we will get those maxed out because we we really have never had a problem with crests. We have never run out of crests. Uh, to the point where we couldn't upgrade anything. Everything, everything else has been the mitigating factor. So we will get the treatment library and the medical devices upgraded to max, and then we'll worry about patient cells. Or we might even just not worry about that altogether, go to the Abbey and level that stuff up with busts next. At any rate, for now, I think that's all we can really do in terms of leveling stuff up. So we got another boss down. Uh, the Necromancer. It actually went even better than the uh, uh, the Hag did. Uh, I really like I really like the strategy with Doctor Strange. The uh, the plus seventy percent stun chance that basically trivialized the Necromancer because I was just able to stun lock him. So definitely going to be a good thing there. Uh, I'm going to be really sad if I ever lose that trinket because that's an amazing trinket. That, uh, the Blasphemous Vial, like, I, are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 15 accuracy range skills, so he's almost always going to hit. Plus 40% stun s skill chance, so your stuns are going to be awesome. 20% blight skill chance, so you can blight stuff even if it's resistant to blight. The only real negative is that plus 15% stress damage, but, you know, we can absorb that. It almost burned us in there, admittedly. It almost burned us. Because I didn't notice that he had Satanophobia. So that almost caused us a serious problem with those the, those uh, bone courtiers. But we managed to make it. Uh, Doctor Strange's stress is actually pretty manageable. That's the other thing I want to do. Hang on. Uh, Faithless will not pray or flagellate. I don't really need him to pray or flagellate. So just go here. Okay. So that's really the only person we have who's any kind of stressed out. That treatment should cure him up just fine. We have managed to recruit ourselves another tank, a leper. Uh, the weakest of the tanks in my opinion, but it is nice to have them because they're, they're really good at damage output. Um, their utility is almost non-existent, so they're pretty much outstripped by the crusader largely but they can be useful in certain situations like when you need extra damage in your group if you need if you need a really high damage group you want to bring a leper as a tank because they will do massive amounts of damage if you spec them right and that's really the key is specking them right but we'll have to take a look at that next time because that's all we're that's all we really have time for for today so uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you uh, enjoyed the video that you just watched uh, please go ahead and subscribe It'll allow you to keep abreast of the progress on this series as well as the progress on my Earthbound series and any other series that might show up in the near or far future. In addition, I would greatly appreciate it. So 
if you liked it, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, of course. Uh, if you are subscribed, please like and share the video. Uh, doing stuff like that shows uh, support for my channel, uh, motivates me to keep this stuff going, motivates me to keep on recording, and I uh, really appreciate whenever I see something like that, you know, a like or a share. Uh, really shows me that people are watching my stuff and enjoying it and that I should keep on doing it. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing us take down two bosses with really relative ease. And I will see you guys next time.